Hi guys, welcome back. It's been a while since I have made a video, been on YouTube, other than watching it, or done anything. So it feels so nice to be doing a video. It was a much needed break, prioritizing the things that matter, but I really have missed it and I wanted to get back. So I'm excited to, you know, start back and just be posting more about what we're doing right now about just life things that i'm learning i have just developed such a love for wanting to source my foods more i say organically in terms of i want to be able to grow a lot more i want to just be more conscious of just the way we consume foods how we get them everything like that so i say all that because i'm gonna have some videos coming for um, a raised bed garden that I am making that I'm super excited about and then really just sharing life with you guys I've also gotten back into cooking more from scratch and I absolutely love it so I'm going to share some of those recipes as they come up but also just you know other duties in life you know so that's what a lot of today is going to be just trying to get some parts of the house straightened up doing some tasks that I've been kind of putting off but gonna finally get them done today so I'm getting the spare bedroom ready for my brother-in-law and sister-in-law to come stay with us this is some of this is a little bit um a work in progress as in it took me a few days to do this so um, some of that and then we're doing some laundry stripping because I have been putting that off but I think we finally have a good enough size of a load I guess to do that so I'm gonna do that but the most important thing I'm doing is right here snuggling my sweet babies taking taking a nap just fell asleep she'll be 10 months here soon and oh, I cannot believe it it's going by so fast and I love being so present with her um, I talk a little bit more throughout the video um, when I'm just kind of chatting, folding laundry and doing that kind of stuff. But I've had a sudden chance to be home a lot more often. And while it would not have been my plan, I have been very grateful for it and very thankful for it. And being here with her while it seems like every single day she's changing so much. She like went from barely scooting to crawling so fast, now pulling up, going, I mean, it's, it's insane to me. So we had a great time with that. We had a great anniversary trip, but it is nice to be filming again and have some exciting things coming for you guys that I've just loved and have really gotten into. There's going to be lots of fun things coming, but thanks so much for being here. And let's just get right into getting it together, getting back in a routine and just doing the things that we need to do and things that we enjoy. So this is what we're working with here. It's just been our dumping ground and just have so much to put away, organize. Eventually I'll get to this closet. I didn't get to it in this video, but just kind of showing that, you know, some things are in there. I did take some of it out, but for the most part it's there and will be tackled on another day. But I swear laundry is the never ending cycle. But then you stop and think that at least we have a family to do laundry for. At least we have the opportunity to be doing this. It just so changes your perspective and makes you so grateful for every little thing like this. So first some tackling, doing some towels and just starting by putting the clothes that either I know are dirty and have we put them in here because we know that we're going to be doing the laundry and they have just gotten dumped out of a basket or whatever it is putting those together the things that I'm not sure throwing them right on in. <laughs> I'm sure we've all done that wash the same piece of clothing five times it seems like so doing that first and then going to start putting away some things you see my electric pressure canner right there so excited to share some of those things and just more things that I am learning. I've learned so much about how to properly store food, how to process food to preserve it, and I'm just super excited. So we're also trying to come up with a plan for Raymond's tools for the time being. I'll talk about that a little bit later on, but doing that, um, I laugh at this part because it looks like we're a Celsius sponsor. We most definitely are not, but <laughs> that is Raymond's Go-Go Fuel. Mine is iced coffee not too much because we're still breastfeeding but you know 
and the price that they have these at like Sam's or Costco, we have a Sam's membership. If you have a Sam's and a Costco membership, let me know which one you prefer more than the other. We don't have one super close by, but I'm almost feeling like it would be worth the drive and for us to get that membership instead. So let me know what you think. All right, so I just dropped Raymond off at physical therapy. Chastel went with him because the receptionist there is precious, absolutely loves her. So I'm gonna run home and get a few like house chore things done, like vacuuming, stuff like that, that it's a lot easier to do if I don't have a little one kind of crawling around and everything. We're gonna go get that done real quick. All right, we made it home. No pups. <laughs> so precious um I have like 30 ish minutes before I need to go back and get them which I know sounds crazy to drive home for that but I just I really need it to get this done but it'd be nice to just catch up to just chat and get things done around the house so um you saw I started on the spare bedroom the main reason I want to get this done is my brother-in-law is getting married this weekend. So my other brother-in-law and his wife are going to come stay with us for the night right before the wedding so that they don't have to drive so far that night. And this has kind of been our just collection of things. Um, you'll see I have a pressure canner right here. I'm super excited to start canning and things like that. I got it for my birthday. I have only canned one thing so far and I didn't even have to use it. It was a um, apple butter recipe and I just got to water bath can it, but still like I'm so excited to have that. But there's a lot of things that I don't fully know exactly where it's going to go. So I need to just get it kind of tidy and put up at least so that it's, ooh, I won't say livable, but like livable. Um, definitely have to clean the bed off and get that good to go. And then you'll see in the back there. This is another one of my new things I'm excited about. Well, okay, so these boxes right here, we will eventually get to. It has been raining nonstop this week, so I have not got to get to them, but they are raised garden beds. I have four of them. I'm gonna do like my own little raised garden. That way I have like my own stuff that I can can and just to have a garden. I'm just excited to do that. And that's what these are for. These are my little starts. These are my little tomato plants. And then this is some herbs and everything. Definitely don't fully know what I'm doing, as you can tell. I know I made some mistakes with just stepping over because I'm too lazy to move the gate. Um, but definitely made some mistakes, but I learned my first time ever starting seeds. So, you know, still fun. But I'm gonna take some time and just kind of quickly clean up as much as I can here in this room. I would like to try to vacuum as well. And then, yeah, so this is kind of like a, just reset the home, get things kind of together. I'm gonna be doing more of like a deep clean type video and stuff like that, going through like some actual spring cleaning. And I got this, and I got this super fun an electric cleaning brush. It has um, 10, well, technically nine different heads that can go on it, but got it from Amazon. So I want to try it out before I post really anything about it, but super excited about that. This closet here, I really need to do a declutter on this soon. I have just so many things. There's my canning jars. <laughs> you can see I've used some of them, um, but just, I just have so many things in here that we don't even use. I have a lot of like cleaning supplies, stuff like that, things for like outdoors I'm going to use in the garden beds, just just lots of things. So I need to do that and then I want to do some laundry too. So just a few things today that we're going to get started with. I just wanted like an easy intro video back in because I really miss being on YouTube and being with you guys and but just personal reasons, lots of things going on in life, needed to take a little break and you know, being a mom is the best full-time job in the entire world. So that has definitely taken priority for me. That and lots of job changes and being in between right now. And, you know, I'll share all of that in due time. But yeah, so thanks for joining me today and welcome back. I'm so happy that you're here. I also really need to... 
I went through and decluttered my shirts and stuff, but they're not organized. So if you saw me just cram some shirts in a drawer the other day, that, uh, that was why. So we'll get to that. It's on the on the list of some projects that I want to do. But in the meantime, we're at least just going to get things folded and at least put into drawers. And I can organize, do all of that later. But at least have this done. I am super excited to have a garden though. I've done like a small one before and all it had was um, just tomatoes had, I think I just did cherry tomatoes in that one. I had that and then I had some jalapenos that did really well and some bell peppers. They didn't do great, but they didn't do terrible either. So I mean, you know, I guess it's a in between, but I have some like really fun canning projects I want to do. I want to can a lot of tomato base products. That's why there's so many tomato starts in there. I was hoping that I'd be able to give my mom and my nanny some as well. They only wanted like one, one tomato plant, but I don't know. We'll have to see. I might have to end up buying this year because like I say, I, I definitely messed up. I left the saran wrap on a little bit too long. So they got a little, it's called leggy and that kind of weakened the stem. So, you know, I'm kind of learning as I go. And then I also, I think I left them outside too long one day because I was trying to do like the hardening of them. And I think I left them outside too long because they're <laughs> a little crispy. Um, so there's that. So if I have to, then that's fine. One of our closer to home middle schools, their FFA is having like a plant sale. So I think I'm going to go if I need to. I probably am. I may go do that. And that'll be good. Um, and it helps support local. So, you know, that always feels good too. So we'll do that if I need to. Just have a few things right here. And then I have a few loads of laundry that I want to get done. And I've already changed the sheets on our bed, which was a Nice thing to already get checked off the list. So did that. And what else have I done? We kind of just straightened up the living room this morning. I do have some plans to do like a really big like kitchen deep clean and declutter. I even bought a new little silverware drawer organizer and I'm real excited to get to use that so I think that'll be good and it's much needed so I'm gonna do that um we did have a lot of tools in here because we weren't really, really sure what exactly we were going to do with it um Raymond's going to end up building like a little shed and we're going to put all of them in it but for now we don't have that so they're just kind of in one of our closets right now and they'll eventually go to their appropriate place but all in good time all in good time i really have gotten so motivated to get back in i found this youtuber that I've been watching and have been absolutely loving watching. Um, I found her when I was on maternity leave and I have just been hooked ever since. Her name is Becky from Acre Homestead and she really just motivated me to want to cook more from scratch, to want to, I mean, we live in the city so we can't do like, I don't really have room for chickens, I don't have room for all that stuff. You know, those are dreams and aspirations that I would like for us to have eventually one day, but even just starting with, I'm going to have four raised beds. So I think that's a pretty good start and will help kind of wet my feet in how to grow more and do more like that. So I think it'll be a good start and everything. And then we can expand in the future sometime. But I am 
excited to start with what I have anyway. That'll be, that'll be good. I'm also open to any and all advice. So if you already garden and are super good at it, give me your tips. Especially when it comes to watering. I think that's the biggest thing that I'm so, I don't know, nervous about. I don't know why, but. All right, I feel like I got a lot done. Emptied out another one of those. I'm trying to switch to more like clean ingredients. So, got that finished up. I'm out of breath from carrying both of those. Um, got the laundry folded there. So, floor is now clear. I also got new couch covers and a new rug and it makes it look like an entirely different room in here so if you're looking to revamp just find a nice rug got these couch covers off amazon and voila this is still folded Literally have like five minutes. So if I can at least just get this room vacuumed, I'll be doing good. If you have a favorite vacuum, please leave it in the comments below. We are going to soon be in the market for a new vacuum. This one I have loved. It's a shark. I don't know the full name or details, but I've loved it so much and it has quit suctioning and I've cleaned it out. I have absolutely no idea why. So we are going to be looking to purchase a new one, but this was just such an easy thing to do. It's something I'm trying to incorporate more into, if not a daily routine, then every other day to try to get to where, you know, especially since our baby is crawling and around so much, we have two corgis that they shed like crazy, but we love them so much. But it is just so nice and just feels like the finishing touch after you do a quick little tidy just to have everything vacuumed and cleaned up. So just encouragement that, you know, you may not be able to deep clean, get everything done for the day. But if you can do a quick tidy, quick vacuum, you can clearly do it in five minutes. That was all I had here. And it's a good start to everything. And that was the quickest little power clean, but it was nice to have gotten some of it done. So now we are on the go to go pick them up and then run a few more errands. not a ton going in but just a few main things so these are a pair of Raymond's favorite shoes that he used while doing the lawn and um, just doing some landscaping and everything like that and they got filthy so we're definitely gonna do those so you just put this down in here I did not realize that my videoing of me putting in the laundry detergent itself did not save so there's that look how much is already coming out which you know part of it is just the water like i'm not that naive but um you will see it is amazing i've done this one other time and then these are my shoes they're pretty dirty they're not traditional white but they are pretty dirty so we're gonna do those too so how you do it the recipe is two parts of laundry detergent to one part 
borax, one part washing soda. So I just did that and then I did warm water. These are not really that bad. Um, they just have a few spots on them, but I just feel like it's easiest to do this. So we're gonna put these in here too. I'm just put them all face down. I'll come and turn them in a little bit. Um, I think, I don't remember how long you're supposed to leave it in, but I'm gonna leave them for the whole day. These are Raymond's other shoes that had a tra 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 but goodness, <laughs> a tragic coffee experience. So it was real, real sad about that because these are some of his favorites too. So I'm gonna get those in there. And then I have never done clothes. I've done hats, but never clothes or anything like that. These are our, um, what are they called? Like pillowcases for our decorative pillows. And you can see just kind of how dingy they are, even though we do not sleep on them. So I'm just gonna try them out too and see if this works for them. If not, you know, it's not the end of the world. I'm gonna put these in here. And then this, again, I have no idea if this is gonna work, but this is my absolute favorite sweatshirt. And there is some stain on it. I have washed this so many times, cannot get it out. So I'm gonna give it a try and we shall see if it works. I've done Raymond's hats before and I mean, it was incredible, just the difference in that. So I'm gonna leave these for pretty much the whole day. I may come back, especially for the ones that have like turned a little bit. I'm trying to get them to where they don't turn, but for the ones that have turned a little bit, I'll just try to make sure that I turn them over at some point. But we'll just leave that and whew, you can already see the water. All right, this is, it's been in for six hours now. That is disgusting. So now to go throw it in the washing machine and then uh, let it air dry. All right, so I threw everything in the washer afterwards. It did not completely remove the stain. I think it looks a little bit better, but I mean, it is still there, but that's okay. These right here are my pillow covers and they are completely white again. I had washed these, I had bleached these, nothing had gotten that dingy color out, but they look perfect now. So that is so exciting. And then these are the shoes that I had washed that had like a, a few stains on the top. They look perfect. These are my tennis shoes. They look brand new. I mean, brand new. These are Raymond's that had the stains on them. Clearly, you can see it did not get all of it out. I think I may try it one more time with just these. So maybe just filling up a sink or something because it did not work completely. But, I mean, this is major improvement from where it was at. So I'll try to put some little before and afters up there. But the one that blows my mind are Raymond's shoes right here. Like, look at these. I had to go grab them because he was so excited to put them back on. I mean, they literally look brand new. Other than, like, the soles right there. But, I mean, this is incredible how well it took literally every bit of that out. Now, I was going to take a magic eraser and go around and do the soles right there. Because I never actually went back and soaked them. So, you can see where the soak line stopped at. I mean, Raymond was so excited to see these because he said they look brand new, like he had just bought them at the store, other than the soles right there, but they look so good. So that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for being back with me, for being here to get the things done. Got the room straightened up enough so that my brother-in-law and sister-in-law could come stay with us for the weekend, and it, you know, it's nice to have it reset back good to go. And then I got that laundry stripping done. If you've never tried that, definitely give it a try. I don't, like I say, I think this is the second time. Oh, well, I know this is the second time I've ever done it. I think, I don't know, maybe once a year I do it or something like that. Mostly just because I forget about it. 
but it's definitely worthwhile saved us however much those shoes cost trying to buy it we actually did go look because Raymond was so upset that he was like I didn't even think about it when I had those on they're just my favorite they're so comfortable and we went to go look and they don't even sell them anymore because I mean they're over a year and a half old but I told him I was like let me do the laundry stripping I definitely think it will work and I'm so glad that I did he was so happy with it so it's nice to see that it's nice to have gotten that dingy look off of our pillows like I said I've Cloroxed them before I've done all of that nothing has gotten it out but letting it soak like that really really helped so thank you so much for being here I hope you give it a try tag me in the before and after photos if you do on Instagram or put them in the comments or send them to me because it is the most satisfying thing to look and see but again thank you so much for being here i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'm super excited to share with you the next video is going to be of the garden how we got the raised bed set up and everything and then we'll do a little bit later of kind of progress and planning everything out and going from there but thanks so much for being here and we'll see you next time